Next up is the plugins section. You can add up to six plugins from the main interface. This includes all the Magix plugins plus any third party DirectX or VST effects you may have. It's important to understand how plugins are categorized in Samplitude and Sequoia at this time. So as to make things clearer, I'm going to divide the plugins into two categories. Category 1 is FX inserts. These are the Magic's internal plugins which include the FFT filter, EQ116, multiband dynamics, vocoder, room simulator, and SMAX11 to name a few. They all have a silver grey look to them. These are not VST plugins, which is why I've given them a separate category. These FX inserts always appear in the upper half of the submenu list. The second category is VST plugins. These include all of the Sasha Eversmeyer Magix VST plugins like Ecox, Corvex, Filtox, Ammunition, and Vandal, plus the EFX series. Magix VST plugins always show up in the lower half of the submenu list. However, the EFX plugins are situated between the FX inserts and the Magix VST plugins. I hope you're keeping up. This second category of plugins also includes third party DirectX and VST effects. The main plugin menu is also split into two halves. The top half is just for the Magix plugins and they are grouped by FX type for easy access. The bottom half shows just the VST DirectX type plugins. There's also a menu to open the VST DirectX rewire setup page. These plugin slots are the most immediate and convenient method for adding object effects. You can mix and match both categories of plugins from here. Just to make things clear, category 1 plugins refers to FX inserts. These are the internal FX created by Magix in Dresden, Germany. They have a silver grey interface. Category 2 plugins refers to Magix VST plugins created at Magix Berlin by Sasha Eversmeyer. This category also includes any third party DX VST plugins. So when I refer to DX VST plugins, that will also include Sasha's plugins as well. So hopefully that's clarified things.